Investigators are pointing to weather-related trouble as the cause of an explosion and fire last month at a hospital construction site in Minot. They say thawing ground caused copper pipe that connected propane tanks to crack or become separated from the valves. The tanks were originally placed on frozen ground, but once temperatures rose, the ice began to melt, causing the tanks to shift. The pilot light set off the explosions. Hi everyone and thank you for waking up with us on this Thursday morning. I'm Jordan Schreer here with Lisa Badeau and we're just getting started with your news and weather to the top of the hour to help you plan your day. New this morning, some firefighters got an early morning wake up call for a couple of grass fires in Cass County. One was around 430 near Davenport and another around 315 just north of I-94 at the Buffalo exit. And they may be a sign of what's to come as things dry out this spring. There's no word on the causes of the fires or how bad they were, but it's the kind of thing safety officials are watching out for. Cass is among several counties in the valley that are under high fire danger. The Fargo Fire Department says because of the risk, there's no open burning allowed in the city right now. It's just about 10 minutes before the top of the hour, and it looks like today we're going to have some more dry conditions, Justin. Yeah, dry conditions and the wind is going to pick up by the afternoon. Wind speeds northwest 20 to 40 miles per hour, and we will be dry, mainly sunny to partly cloudy skies. And with that northwesterly wind, we will be a lot cooler than yesterday. Highs getting into the mid-60s. Uh, temperatures around the region, we're seeing uh, some areas into the 30s and others into the low to mid-40s. Warm spot into the southern valley, into lakes country. And we're pretty cool out toward the Bemidji area, Jamestown and Devil's Lake all into the 30s. The wind not that bad right now. We're seeing wind speeds from the west northwest 5 to 15 miles per hour. That will change going through the afternoon. Mostly sunny skies across the region right now with mostly cloudy skies from Fergus Falls, Wapiton points off to the south. So going through the afternoon, we will see partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies, and it will be windy with that wind sustained around 20, 25 miles per hour, much higher gusts. Uh, into the southern valley, uh, temperatures ranging from the upper 50s to mid 60s, depending on where you are. And then into lakes country, partly cloudy to mostly sunny, windy by afternoon. Uh, we're into the lower 60s in most places into northwestern Minnesota, mid to upper 50s with partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. And uh, it will turn windy by the afternoon. Now the Devil's Lake Basin, that's where we have that wind advisory in effect through uh, uh, 1 to 7 p.m. tonight. And red flag warnings are also issued across most of the viewing area going into effect the, in this afternoon, lasting through this evening. Now into the northern valley, high temperatures today into the lower 50s, ranging from the upper 50s to near 60 into the northern valley. Again, the wind really picking up as we go through the late morning into early afternoon. Now we keep some wind for the day tomorrow and even breezy through Saturday. Uh, Friday's high of 61, but only into the mid to upper 40s this weekend. Saturday looks like we have a, a good chance of some showers and a chance of some rain or snow showers Sunday into Monday. Temperatures staying into the mid 40s, but low 50s on Tuesday, low 60s on Wednesday. We will see partly cloudy skies with a slight chance of some showers on both of those days. There's your weather. Let's check in with Al now with your traffic. Morning, Justin. Good morning, everyone. We're back out here on uh, Interstate 94 this morning, and like somebody opened up the gates and everybody just got out and started running because it's really busy out here this morning, particularly on westbound Interstate 94. Holy smokes, the uh, traffic is really thick. Eastbound I-94, no slouch either. Same story on Interstate 29, all kinds of activity there, particularly northbound. I want to remind you again, northbound I-29, we have that stalled uh, SUV. It looks like a Ford Edge. It's on northbound I-29 between 13th Avenue and Main, a little closer to Main. Flashers are on on that one. On westbound Interstate 94, just west of the Red River Bridge, we have that stalled Durango that we told you about. Apparently they couldn't get it going, so it's just sitting there. No lights, no flashers. Make sure you're looking out for that. And we have head-to-head -head traffic. That happened, started, uh, started uh, late yesterday. Head-to-head -head traffic in that construction zone on Interstate 94, right around Cheyenne Street. So make sure that you're looking out for that. Drive carefully this morning, and always, folks, Al Allen, Valley Today Traffic. It's now seven minutes before seven. New this morning, former Vice President Joe Biden has just launched his third bid for the presidency and is positioning himself as a trusted champion of the middle class, eager to take on the fight to President Donald Trump. In a video released this morning, Biden says he is in a battle for the soul of the nation. 
He faces serious obstacles, including a vocal liberal base and past policy positions on major issues. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration is investigating the death of a conservation officer in Minnesota. Eugene Wynn and a sheriff's deputy were responding to a call on Cross Lake near Pine City last Friday when both were thrown from their boat minutes after leaving the shore. The deputy was rescued. Wynn's body was recovered after a five-hour search. A Minnesota OSHA spokesperson says they're reviewing safety and health practices, conducting interviews and taking photos and video to determine if any hazardous conditions contributed to the accident. A Saban, Minnesota man is going to prison for three and a half years for the car crash that killed a two-year-old boy. 42-year-old Jeremy Sagvold was sentenced yesterday for criminal vehicular homicide and careless driving. He had been found not guilty of manslaughter. Two-year-old Zayden Ness of Breckenridge died in the January 2018 crash at Highway 10 and 34th Street in Moorhead. He was in a car with his parents. A 34-year-old North Dakota woman is dead after a rollover crash in central North Dakota. The Highway Patrol says a driver left the road yesterday morning near Tappan, entered the median, then steered back to the road but ended up rolling in the ditch. The woman was not wearing a seatbelt and was thrown from the car. Police, police say that she was from Straussburg, North Dakota, and they plan to release her name later today. Authorities in Crystal Lake, Illinois, believe they have recovered the body of a five-year-old boy who disappeared from his home about a week ago. Officers discovered A.J. Freund's body buried in a shallow grave and wrapped in plastic. His parents have been charged with murder and aggravated battery. The day A.J. was reported missing, his mom was arrested on an outstanding traffic warrant. In the police report for that incident, officers expressed concern over the squalid living conditions at the family's home. People driving in Minnesota will have to use hands-free phones while on the road starting August 1st. But not all vehicles are ready for this rule change. Many newer cars already have Bluetooth, so drivers just have to pair their phone with their car. Another option is headphones, but people can only use one bud because it is illegal in Minnesota to drive with headphones in both ears. People with auxiliary jacks or cassette players could buy a special adapter that connects their phone to their car. In our consumer alert this morning, if you're looking to hire a lawn service, the Better Business Bureau has some tips to avoid getting scammed. They warn against companies who go door to door and say it's better to hire an established business. You should ask for references and photos of work that they've done at other people's homes. And get separate quotes from different companies. And make sure they break down the pricing the same way so you can really compare them. While well, buying a new home is exciting, it can also be stressful, especially if it's your first home. But to help relieve a little bit of that stress, the Valley Today's Abby Furchner joins us live this morning as she talks with some experts about an event coming up. Hi, Abby. Hi, good morning, Jordan and Lisa. I'm here at Kip Harris Realtors, and they have a really fun event tomorrow night to help go through that home buying process. And I'm here with Jenny Booer with Kip Harris Realtors. And before we talk about the event, I want to talk about your job because it's really fun because you get to go to all the houses, but you also get to work really closely with those home buyers. Yep, absolutely. I'm there from step one to step finish, basically. Um, and yeah, absolutely. I love my job. Um, probably my favorite clientele are the first time home buyers, the home buyers that are just getting into the process. I love educating, which is why I love the event that's coming up, the home buyer happy hour. Yeah, and tell us a little bit more about that. What is behind the home buyer happy hour? Yeah, well, actually, it kind of stemmed from the class that we teach, the FM homebuyer class. A lot of people are uncomfortable in a classroom environment, so we wanted to make something a little bit more casual. Um, we figure what's more casual than beer. <laughs> so we are teaming up with Drecker and some of the local breweries to put on this casual event, get people in, get people talking one-on-one -on -one with some of the more important components of the home buying process. So. And I know it goes from 5.30 to 7.30 at Drecker Brew Halla, but can people, do they have to be there right at 5.30 or can they come and go? No, no, you can come and go as much as we want. We kind of make it like speed dating. So come and talk to each of the different components, grab a beer, 
and be on your merry way. Some pizza, too. I think there's going to be pizza there. So Ooh, <laughs> Just an easy event. Make it a little bit more casual because I know that home buying is such a big decision. This is probably one of the biggest purchases you'll make in your life. So to really get all your questions answered, you'll want to go to Drecker Brujala for this home buyer happy hour from 530 to 730. Good stuff. Abby Furchner reporting live for us this morning. Thank you. We're in the home stretch to the Bison Spring football game. It's coming up tomorrow, and you can catch all the action live from 6.30 to 8 right here on KVLY. And because of that, we want to alert you to a programming note due to the game. Wheel of Fortune will move to KX4 at 6.30. Also, the show, will, the show Blacklist will air from 8 to 10 immediately after the game. Let's get our answer now to our question of the morning on Facebook. Today's question, one in four drivers have this in common during their morning commute. The answer is you're taking a kid to school. Remember, you can play along every morning. Just head to the Valley News Live Facebook page. Go ahead and join that conversation. And Justin, it looks like today for the kids heading to school, maybe a windbreaker for the afternoon. And not that bad this morning. A little cool, but temperatures are going to be near where they should be into the lower 60s today. The wind will pick up through the afternoon. And uh, we will see a lot of sunshine, though. Uh, a little cooler into the Devil's Lake Basin there into the lower 50s. Now we're going to keep more of the same for the day tomorrow. A little cooler into the low 60s for highs for Friday. Friday, but through the weekend and to through the start of next week, we do have a chance of some rain or some snow showers highs back into the 40s through the weekend. Well, we need the moisture for the fire danger, so that's a good thing. Yeah, and, and definitely the fire danger will go down through the weekend. The Today Show and CBS This Morning are just about to start, but the Valley Today rolls on. You can join us right now on the Fargo CW.